Way back in history in the 20th century, we had TV stations blasting megawatts out into space. That first Olympic broadcast, and there was no direction on it, so most of it went into space. If you had pointed a radio at Earth, you would have picked it up from light years away. Much as we're using more and more radios today, they're getting harder and harder to detect. Now using just enough power to get them to who you want to get them to. That's us becoming intelligent about how we use the radios. We're using just enough energy to get the signal where we need it. And any sufficiently advanced society will be even better at that than us. I think they become invisible unless they're looking for us. But I guess the other question is the SETI space telescopes. Yep. Giant radio telescopes. Do they have a chance to pick up alien life? They do. They're listening for a really broad spectrum just listening to radio waves. And they're listening to essentially as, as much spectrum as they can. And they're listening for anything that's not background radiation stuff. And so you pick up a lot of interesting things and you pick up things like solar flares and things that you don't mean to. You pick up people's microwaves and stuff. You also pick up things like supernova. I mean, a star that is exploding. Uh, you will pick it up on those big satellites with mean, these big telescopes. What they're hoping to find is meaningfully doing something that they can't really explain with, with natural means. I mean, that's what they're looking for. I mean, of course, an advanced society can point a powerful radio at us and shoot a gigawatt, enough power to time travel, and then we'd pick that up, right? Yeah. Yep. Fingers crossed we don't hear from anybody. And NASA's planning to put a radio telescope on the far side of the moon. And then what they'll have to do is they'll put a satellite in orbit around the moon. And so when it whizzes by, radio telescope will beam up what it found. And then when it comes around the Earth, it'll send back to us what the telescope found. Astronomers are saying using the far side of the moon is... That buys us a few years, but... I don't know if you saw the results. NASA sent a probe up to the asteroid, grabbed a piece of rock, brought it back, and the analysis just came out. And did you see what was, what they found? Yeah. What did they find? Some gum-like substance. Was it Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Every building block to make RNA. So it turns out if you just take a rock and blast it with radiation for hundreds of millions of years, it will form everything you need to make a living being except liquid water. I mean, water forms by itself in the vacuum of space, right? It also implies, though, that alien life is probably less alien. I mean, life based on RNA and DNA and liquids and carbon. To investigate what kind of life it is, how similar, how different from life on Earth, that will immensely broaden the science of biology. It can still be pretty alien, right? There's definitely crabs out there, though. There are <laughs> crabs in space. <laughs> Crabs, how many times have crabs evolved? <laughs> like six or something, at least, I don't know. Like all those different crabs are not related